So General Riley said exactly two weeks ago that the mechanism by which the US is providing military assistance to Israel is different from a legal and budgetary standpoint in comparison to the military assistance to Ukraine. How and why? And also, what's the figure we're talking about here in military assistance to Israel? Like millions, billions, tens of billions? Or what, what is it? Yeah, no, so thank you so much for the question. So in terms of um, what General Ryder said, I don't have much more of an update to provide you in terms of um, how, like the, the dollar amount right now. Um, what I can tell you is we are providing assistance to Israel through very different mechanisms than how we provide assistance to Ukraine. So Ukraine, you're seeing the PDAs or the USAI um, drawdown authorities that we are using. Israel is mainly through FMS, FMF and then direct contracting that Israel does with um, uh, private commercial companies. Um, so again, I, I, I don't have that amount in front of me right now, but the mechanisms of which we are providing aid to Israel is different from Ukraine. Get into why that mechanism has been preferred over the other mechanism that's been provided to uh, Ukraine. Is there like a specific it's reason? Just different country, different mechanisms, different relationships that we have with each country. Again, Israel had at the, before October 7th, a very capable um, professional military. Ukraine was is building up to being a, a very capable fighting force in their you know, counteroffensive. And since they were attacked in February of um, almost two years ago, um, but they needed Ukraine needed the support to build up their military that Israel you know already had. Um, so again, the funding mechanisms and how we're supplying aid, it's it's two different countries, two different wars and, and again, you know, two different areas of responsibility. So it's, it's a little different. One last one. Sure. I haven't heard any figure. Do you think we're going to be able to, you know, uh, find out how much military assistance has been provided to Israel? Yeah, it's something that we are, we're, of course, I know General Ryder spoke to this. It's something that we're working towards. I just don't have that right here at this moment.